So there's a good chance that a lot of you have tried, you know, baking your own goodies, your own treats. But right now, there's a relatively new program making specialty bakers out of the most unlikely candidates. NBC7's Artie Ojeda is here now with their surprising story. Monica and Catherine, uh, take a look at the treats behind me. Strawberry and cream tarts, specialty cakes, eclairs, other pastries. They were actually served up at yesterday's State of the County Address. Good stuff, all prepared by county jail inmates, hoping to learn a new skill to help them once they're released. It is an impressive, delectable collection of treats made by the most unlikely of bakers, like Wolfgang Herbin, who right now is doing jail time for selling drugs. I hit a rough patch and chose the wrong path. His path has taken a major turn. Herbin is among a group of low-risk offenders trying to change their ways by rolling dough into creative pastries, taking sweet pastel-colored frosting and decorating cakes. It's something that I never thought I would ever do. And now I'll be able to, like I said, I'll be able to go home, be with my family, and show them something different about me. It's part of the Sheriff's Department's year-old baking and culinary program. So far, three dozen inmates have passed through. You see a change in them because they've learned something that they never have before. It's things that they feel better about themselves. The six-month vocational program is not funded by taxpayers. The cost borne by the Prison Food Services Division, which helps feed 5,800 inmates a day. The idea is to take a bite out of the state's high recidivism rate. They gotta have the strong will, the, real, the strong will to really want to change, because changing is not easy. A change Wolfgang Herbin says he's ready to make. In fact, he says he already has a job lined up. I have a friend and his sister is a manager in a bakery in La Jolla, and they're willing to give me an opportunity to show my skills, and I know I can shine there when I get out, and I don't have to resort to what I did before. At the end of the program, inmates must pass a national sanitation exam. They also receive a certificate from Grossmont Adult Education. The director of the Bakery Culinary Program says word is getting out among the inmates, and there is now a waiting list to get into the program. Artie, NBC7. Great story. Thanks, Artie. Last November, Ellen.